In a previous video, we have learnt about the flipped classroom as a model of blended learning. For using flipped classroom as a teaching strategy, the teacher needs to search for online materials or sometimes develop a learning material to be given to the students before they come to class. This could be in the form of a text or the teacher can also create a video. So are you ready to create a video? That sounds exciting, doesn't it? Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sunanda Roy and today we will learn how to convert our Windows PowerPoint presentation into a video. So let's get started. The first step is to prepare your PowerPoint presentation slides. Make sure to keep minimum text and points. Avoid putting paragraphs. After all, it's a PowerPoint presentation, not a power paragraph presentation. Step 2 is to prepare the script for the video. That way, you have your points in front of you while narrating the slides when recording. Step 3 is recording the presentation as a video. So let's have a look at the process. Once your presentation is ready, you need to click on the slideshow tab. There you will find an option record slideshow. When you click on this, you will get a drop down box with two options. The options are start recording from the beginning and start recording from current slide. When you start recording at the very beginning, you will obviously choose the first one. However, while recording the slides, suppose you make a mistake with slide number 3, then you need not record from the beginning from slide number 1. Just go to slide number 3 and you can choose the second option of start recording from current slide and the previous recordings will remain unchanged. It's a great option which saves a lot of time during recording. When you click on start recording, you get an option to select what you want to record before you begin recording. Slide and animation timing or narration and laser pointer. These options are very useful if you have already recorded a part of the video beforehand. Clicking on the first allows you to re-record the slide and animation timing in case your narration was correct but you made some errors in the animation. And clicking on the second option allows you to re-record only your narration in case you made errors in your narration but your slide timings and animation were correct. You can click on both also. So you select both as you haven't started recording at all. Next, you click on Start Record. When you start recording, you will see the timing of the recording on the top left hand corner. The first time shows you the timing for the current slide and the second timing shows you the total time recorded. Here I have recorded two slides. So I have recorded six seconds of the current slide and the total recording time is 18 seconds. After you have recorded the whole presentation and if you click on home and select slide sorter, then you will find a loudspeaker icon on each of the recorded slides. We have completed the first three steps. Next, you have to save the presentation with your narration. And step four is that you have to save the file as a video. So you click on save as. You have to save the file as a Windows Media Video or WMV. It takes some time for it to be converted into a WMV file. Let's have a look at an excerpt of this video saved as a WMV file. In a previous video, we have learnt about the flipped classroom as a model of blended learning. 
For using flipped classroom as a teaching strategy, the teacher needs to search for online materials or sometimes develop a learning material to be given to the students before they come to class. Once it's done, your video is ready for sharing. You could upload your videos on your cloud storage like Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox or any other cloud storage apps and then share the link via email with your students or you could upload it on your YouTube channel. You may have seen my video on how to create YouTube channel and upload videos. If not, then the link of the videos has been given in the description box and also on the end screen. Click on it to watch the video and create your own YouTube channel for uploading your own videos. I hope you liked this video. Do try converting your PowerPoint presentations into videos. You could share them with your students via email if they are small or upload them on YouTube. Thank you for watching the video.